So can going? the power of a good start get shown up? Was there something different or did the players find something in, different in themselves because there seemed a lot of energy in that start? Yeah, there was a lot of energy in the start. And you're right, I think Indigenous, Indigenous round for us is really important. And you've seen that with the players, particularly in the first quarter, like Pau Pepper and Carl Amon was amazing. And, you know, Locke, uh, they all they all got their stuff going. Mots was even good early in the in the first quarter. But as a team, I think we started really strongly. We finished really strongly. Clearly, there's some bits in the middle that we've we would have liked to have been a bit better at. But that's that's also not giving the credit to the opposition. They've got some quality players. They've won five games for the year. You know, we're in a position now. Eight and three would be really pleased about where we sit at the bye. And is there a reason why you had Charlie Dixon take the first bounce? Yeah, we wanted to do something a little bit different. We wanted to, we, we know Charlie competes really hard in a, in a contest. Um, it was just a little bit different for, for the oppo. They probably were expecting Laddams. We uh, we just think Charlie can give us a little bit of a difference in there sometimes. And, you know, if Charlie played a little bit more ruck again tonight, I think it didn't hurt his game. What about Ollie Wines? Is that his best game of the year? Oh, he's had some good games. Uh, it'd be unfair to say that's his best game, I reckon. Um, he's had a really... as. Far no one. He's he's had a, a great first half of the year. He's in really good form. He's in look. He's in all Australian form as far as a midfielder goes. He's um, t- carries a big load for us. But there's a lot of great midfielders in the competition. I'm just glad that Ollie's with us. And just just big picture. I mean, eight and three at the with a buyer coming ahead. You must be a satisfied with where you are, and b I guess where where do you see the improvement coming in the in the second half of the season for you? Yeah, I think I think we're certainly satisfied. I mean, we, as I said last week, I'd, ever the ever the optimist, I'd love it to be eleven and zero. But we know in this competition, you know, we've we've put ourselves in the upper echelon of the ladder. We know we're you know we we're chasing a, a bigger finish than we've we've got currently. Um, it's really important for us. But the season itself at eight and three, you couldn't you couldn't um, be displeased with the way we've got there. We've had a few. We've dealt with like everything. We've dealt with some injuries along the way. Hopefully, we'll get some um, personnel back as the year goes on, and um, that will that will help hold us in good stead. And the style of football that you're playing, um, where, where do you think the improvement might, might come from? Uh, I mean, you, you sort of turned it on in the first quarter. Obviously, you'd love to do that all the time, but you can't. Yeah, I think, I think that'd be unreasonable to think we could do that for every quarter, but that would be our blueprint. I mean, if we could play like that, um, you know, in two and a half, the three quarters in, in a game of football, we, we know that would be mighty powerful and hard to stop. And that's enjoyable for our fans to watch. I think, with you know, the crowd again tonight that turned up, I think it's... They enjoy watching us play that way. We understand that, you know, we'd love to play that way every quarter, but there's some challenges with that. But I think that's a pretty irresistible style of football, the way we played the first quarter, but we didn't get it for four quarters. And what happened to Burton? Uh, he's just knee. Look, we had a couple out there, to be honest. We had Fantasia, whose knee's a bit crumbly, so there, there'll be some scans and stuff needed there. And Burton was the same, both with a bit of a knee. So, um, you know, there's there's some probably an issue or two there that we might have to... Um, have a look at but we'll wait and see i mean fantasia you know he's, he's had a few battles with that knee for the last couple of weeks and um you know we we might have to do something there if that's what it ends up being so we'll 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 investigate that thoroughly over the next day and, and make some decisions what a focus on connor rosie at the start of the game have you reviewed it in a short time you've had oh yeah short time i think uh, like everyone in the team i think connor you know was lively and looking up likely for us a number of times um, he, he, I reckon he's, he's on the he's on the he's on the edge of getting there. I reckon he's on the edge of playing that great game that he wants to play. And when you're not quite right, you know, you slip over when you look like you're out. You, you know, you do some really good stuff, and then you run into a you know a hit into the into the head in a collision in, in incident, which was nothing in it, just the, the way they collided, and things don't quite go the way you like. But you can just I feel like he's moving in the direction that we want him to move into, and I think that's uh, going to be really exciting for us going. Forward. And do you feel like your players were a bit stung, I guess, by the, the talk of the, the slow starts, the, the focus on that? No, they're not. They don't get stunned by um, outside opinions because we understand that, they, that that's exactly what they are. They would like to be better themselves. And, uh, you know, we, we tonight, even tonight, you know, it's one, one good first quarter. We've had, what, four or five winning first quarters and five or six maybe losing first quarters. So we're not, we're not got it perfect at the moment. But we know when we do, like I said tonight, that first quarter is hard to stop. And is there any clarity at all as to what happens next for you? Definitely a buy. There's no change to that. Yeah, no. I, I, look, I think it's definitely a buy. But if something could, I don't know. I mean, things could change as a, as there has in this last 18 months. It's been a moving feast a little bit. And we've just got to be ready to react to whatever comes. At this stage, we expect it to be a buy, and we expect that we'll have you know four or five days away now, and the boys will freshen up, and uh, you know they'll come back to it um, at this stage Thursday week against a pretty uh, strong and impressive Geelong. 
what four or five days are off, Ken? Just do they do recovery tomorrow, or do you just wait for some clarity from the AFL on that? Or yeah, well, as soon as yeah, well, as I said, at this stage we've got as much clarity as we can get, and that is we have got the buy, and we will we will we've positioned it with our players that they'll get four days off, and they'll be able to um, do some active recovery away from the club. They they always do the right thing. Our boys are everyone in the competition now. They're really professional. They know what to do and when to do it. And ultimately, they would have perhaps liked to have spent some time for some at home, but we know that's not possible for some of our Victorian boys. They'll spend some time together, I'm sure. They'll, I think their plan is they'll play a little bit of golf maybe at some point in the, in the, in the beautiful South Australian area, so that'll be nice. Just to confirm, are Fantasia and Burton going to have a bit of a clean-up? No, no, I didn't say that. I said that we'll, we'll get some in, we'll do some investigation and see where it, land, where it lands. I think there's a, there's a possibility maybe for Fantasia, I think, but not so much for Burton. I think Burton's a He's a bit of an ongoing management one, and he's one that we, we do have a good handle on more often than not, but he copped a little knock tonight, and that can clear his, his knee up a little.